Europe has ambitious plans to tackle global issues, such as climate change, the transition to new forms of energy, clean oceans, a sustainable food system, healthy lifestyles, digital innovation, and protecting our rich cultural heritage. Let's look at the big societal challenges we're facing. These are complex issues, and the science to address them is also complex, and we have to make sense of that. Scientific advice mechanism consists of a number of elements. One is the group of seven, the seven chief science advisors. Another very important element is the unit in Brussels. They scope the policy landscape. And a third crucial element is CEPEA, Science Advice for Policy by European Academies. CEPEA is made up of more than 100 academies and learned societies from across Europe. It's wonderful to be able to work with SAPEA because it gives us access to the best and brightest all over Europe, across all disciplines, and not only to academy members themselves, but also to the young academies and to the postdocs, PhDs, and the people with whom the academy members work. The Making Sense of Science for Policy project looks at how we can provide good science advice to policymakers. Sapea assembled a group of European experts to work on the project. To take stock of what we had learned, and not only, of course, based on our own experience, but what does science tell us about how to do good policy advice. When the European Commission's chief scientific advisers decided to address this important topic, they asked Sapea, the consortium of European academies, to review the evidence on the subject. The report is not a usual scientific question about facts or about impacts, but it's also about the general philosophy of how we go about making science more productive to policy making. The Making Sense of Science report covers three main aspects of the relationship between science and policy. The first one is really that we were looking into the way that we can explore what are the characteristics of good scientific advice, what has worked in the past and why. The second part of our report looks from the perspective of the policymakers. What kind of information do they need? What kind of judgment do they need? What are the functions of policy making? The third chapter is really how we can enhance the relationship between policy making and the scientist. We also think about what kind of institutional setting is best, what kind of interaction works best, what kind of formats work for good scientific advice. The advisors have drawn on the CEPEA evidence review report to produce policy recommendations for the European Commission. Their scientific opinion, called Scientific Advice to European Policy in a Complex World, has three main recommendations. To give good policy advice, you need good science. Without good science, you don't have good policy advice. That's the first. The second is about credibility and trustworthiness. As science advisors, one must demonstrate one's trustworthiness. The third main conclusion concerns impartiality. Science advice has to be about a topic that science can address. If you want to find out more, all our reports and supporting information are publicly available. Our work on making sense of science has been, in my eye, a very crucial step towards improving the relationship between the science and the policy side. Both sides really benefit from cooperation. I think the world has become so complex and the issues have become so sophisticated it is even more fruitful and more advisable to have more and better arenas in which sciences can interact with policymakers. And that is the main message that we would like to convey with this report. We need this kind of cooperations and we have very good advice and we have very good lessons that we could give to policymakers and scientists of how to improve that relationship.